Hello guys, how are you? I hope everyone is doing really really great. So today I am back with another video explaining about a very very useful and important critical information about H1B applications. Irrespective of whatever the experience you had and irrespective of how much detail you put into your H1B application, if you do not follow this simple technique, it is simple technique but it is really powerful. If you do not follow this simple and powerful technique, your application will straight away go into rejection mode. No RFE, it will get rejected if you do not follow this technique. So before we get into more details, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe for entertainment and information related videos. Welcome back guys. Recently, I made a video on USCIS fee increased on different applications and how it is affecting different sets of applications. So if you have not watched that video, I would recommend you to watch that video before watching this. I'll be providing appropriate links in the description as well as in the above cards. So before watching this video, I would definitely recommend you to watch that entire video. Get into the more details. USCIS fee increase for H1B application I-129 forms will be taking effect from October 2nd, 2020. So in order to take the advantage of reduced filing fees, people are really hurrying up and they are trying to fill out their applications really quickly and they wanted to send before October 2nd, 2020. So here there is a very simple mistake that you, that you might be doing actually. So first of all, check what version of I-129 form you are using. So in order to know what version you are using, uh, there will be a date on the form uh, in the bottom left. So right now, in order to take the advantage of a reduced filing fees, the date should be January 27, 2020 and your application needs to reach USCIS before October 2nd, not even October 2nd, before October 2nd. It needs to be postmarked as before October 2nd, 2020. When I say postmark, whatever the date, let's say you are shipping through, uh, let's say you are shipping through uh, UPS or FedEx. So whatever the date is on that FedEx or UPS receipt, that is known as postmark date. So in order to take the advantage of reduced filing fees, you need to use the I-129 form that has January 27, 2020 version and it needs to be postmarked before October 2nd, 2020. That newer version of the I-129 form will be dated as October 2nd, 2020. Let's say if you are using that form, you will be incurring for, uh, with the new new increased fee as per the USCIS for the H-1B. So let's say if you are using that form, make sure that your application or the petition reaches USCIS with a postmark date on or after October 2nd, 2020. So let me give you two examples. If you are using the current January 27, 2020, uh, 2020 version and if it is reaching USCIS on or after October 2nd, 2020, when I say that is the postmark date, your application will get rejected. Let's say you are using October 2nd, 2020 version of the form, but it is reaching USCIS with a postmark date uh, before on 2020, your application will get rejected. I hope you understood the video as I said at the beginning of the video this is really really simple but it is very powerful in order to uh, not get your ab application into rejection mode. Let me know if you have any questions you can put them in the comments. Uh, also I wanted to uh, let you know with the newer version there are different forms uh, for different visas. So as of now I-129 form can be used for H, H1 visas, H2A, H2B, L1 for different types of visas. but uh, for, uh, with that uh, uh, with that October 2nd, 2020, uh, every visa has its own I-129 form. So please make sure that you are utilizing the new form uh, in regards to your respective visa. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer your question. Stay home, stay safe. Bye. Mm -hmm.